talk about the PID control that the controller does. Proportional, integral, and derivative. It's kind of something we do ourselves without even thinking about it. Proportional deals with how big is the difference between what I want, the set point, and process variable. Integral has to do with how long it's been off. Now, let's talk about how that really works. You know from experience about where you crank the thing to. So you've taken these out of it, but you had to learn the thing. And then you know when you're in the shower, you kind of know intuitively with the proportional band and how much change you're going to make, whether you're uh, 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 that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You're going to make small changes. Now the only other one, the only other change, this derivative is how long has it existed off of set point and is it worth bumping it a little bit maybe to get it closer? Have you ever put a load of laundry in and then gone to take a shower? Yeah. Right, and you got the water doing the pulsing thing, so you're in the shower and it's pulling the hot water if you're doing the whites or whatever. You have to then make your decision, that's your derivative doing the thinking there. Is it worth making that change, or are we just going to live through that? It'll quit in a minute and get back to the right temperature. So you kind of feel these, these P's, these I's, and these D's. The cruise control in your car does not. It's strictly proportional. That's OK on a flat road, but when you get start up the hill, it lags a little bit and then gives you some gas. When you crest the top, say that again? Yes, and that's because it's all proportional. There's no PI in there. And that's why the thermostats, everybody I'm sure has stolen a Honeywell thermostat from here and taken it home. The thermostat learns what the behavior of your heater or air conditioner, depending on which it's doing, and your house. And it does a great job of doing the P, the I, and the D. The UDC does a great job of PID control. We talked about differences between quartered in controller, the single loop controllers, and a, a PLC. This Honeywell UDC that you've got in front of you, quartered in controller, 98 millimeters, is a single loop controller. It only controls one variable. We got one process variable that we were attempting to chase. Now we can do a second output to go to a recorder or do some other things. We've got some alarm functions but it just controls one output. A PLC can be a very expensive, very involved kind of control scheme. PLC guys will very frequently to tune their PID to figure out how much proportional integral and derivative will frequently keep a Honeywell UDC in their little toolbox of tricks. They go out, they set up the PLC, they set up their stuff, now they want to tune the thing, they unhook the thermocouple and the, the 4 to 20 output, they pull out the Honeywell UDC, power it up real quick with a plug-in, put the thermocouple on at the 4 to 20, and then let the thing tune. Put it in its auto-tune uh, feature and let the thing figure out with its fuzzy logic what the right P, I, and D are. Let the thing run for couple hours, couple days, come back, go into the controller and figure out what the P, the I, the D are, write them down, put them in the PLC, and let the PLC control that way. That's right, because the PLC is not really good at PID control. It's not what it's built for. If you need to control it or measure it, Stromquist and Company has a control solution for you. With over $2 million of inventory between our Georgia and Florida locations, an easy-to-use online ordering platform, same-day shipping, and a factory-trained team of controls experts to answer your questions, Stromquist and Company continues in its tradition of offering great service and great products.